What is up, beautiful people? Have you ever wondered how people were randomizing their BDSP when the game just came out? Well, stay tuned, and I'm going to show you exactly that. What is up, beautiful people? We are back at it again with another randomizer tutorial. Today, we're going to be randomizing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Um, obviously, for Yuzu, of course, I do not have a hack switch. I wish I did, but I do not. So we're going to be using Yuzu for this. Um, so there's two files that you need. You need your randomizer file and you need your Yuzu file. Um, so your randomizer file looks like this when you open it this will be your uh, your tool here your BDSP randomizer tool uh, you can randomize the Pokemon Safari underground evolutions trainer shops and TMs um, and then yeah so hopefully they work on starters uh, I think that would be awesome to do um, but we need to go ahead and open our Yuzu Obviously, you're going to need a copy of Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl. Uh, you can get those from either dumping your game cartridge or a quick Google search will um, will net you the results that you need. Okay, so first we're going to go into configure uh, system file system. You're going to dump your EXEFS. You want to make sure that is clicked. Hit OK. You are going to right click dump ROM FS. Go ahead and dump the ROM FS. We're going to do a full dump. Hit OK. And I'll see you guys when it is done. All right, guys. When it is done, it is finally done. Uh, so when it's finished, you're going to go ahead and click OK. It'll bring you to this page right here. Uh, you're going to want to back out to this page where you just see your ROMFS folder. You're going to copy that folder. Um, you're going to go into your um, randomizer folder. You're going to get to this screen right here. You're going to want to paste that ROMFS folder into here. So I'll see you when this gets done. All right, it is finished. So you see your, your ROM FS folder copied there. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here, once that gets copied in there, you're going to want to go ahead and open your randomizer. Uh, so you're going to basically click whatever you want to randomize. I'm going to do the Pokemon Safari. We'll go ahead and uh, do them all for now. Uh, and then once everything that you have done, go ahead and click Let's Go. It'll show you randomizing done, trainer saved. Everything is saved. So you'll go ahead and just file, exit that right there. So now you are, oh, no, the exit button doesn't work. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and exit right there. You'll see this mods folder right here. You want to right click on that. You want to click copy. Okay. So once you copy that, you go to your brilliant diamond right here. Open mod location. You're going to want to paste that into here. I'm going to delete this one because that's the one I previously did. Um, and then just so you know, we'll just keep it as mods folder right there. Uh, we'll just keep everything as is. Uh, you can minimize this. You want to right click on this, check your properties, make sure the patch name, the mods is loaded. Okay, you'll click OK. You go ahead and run the game. Uh, it'll take a minute to load as with this game being brand new. Um, it takes a second uh, for it to load. Um, and it's also probably just my PC because my, I don't have the greatest PC in the world. Um, so it takes a second. Eh, better than I thought. Better than I thought. 